this evening. I am sitting here with the band Circa. Hello. So why don't we start off real quick. We'll just go ahead and uh, introduce ourselves, starting with you, Billy. Billy Sherwood, bass player. Sing Johnny K, keyboard player. Johnny Burns, guitar, vocals. Scott Connor, drums and percussion. Well, thanks for taking the time to sit down. We've got uh, some exciting stuff going on, so we're going to be covering all of that. Also want to let you folks know that if you like, you can go ahead and send, in fact, I'll be able to see it right here. You can go ahead and send any questions, any comments that you have, and we'll be able to do that right here. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. We'll be here for a little while, but our, our, uh, our main purpose for being here is going to be to talk about this event that we have going on tomorrow. But before we do that, real quick, how about just a quick, a quick brief history of the band Circa? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Take it away. Yeah, in a, around 2006, uh, I was working on tribute records and was remaking some Pink Floyd stuff, and I called Tony to play on a record, and he was actually retired at that point and playing tennis, as you told me. <laughs> and I said, well, you, today you're going to play keys. And he said, no. I said, yeah, come on over. So we ended up working. But he did say Pink Floyd. <laughs> so that was the calling card. That was the calling card. And so we did that session, had a lot of fun hanging out. We always remained friends from the old yes days and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And um, decided to start working on new music and, and start trying to form a new thing. And those songs became the, the birth and the genesis of the first Circa. And as those songs developed, we got my friend Jimmy Hahn, who was in previous bands with me in Logic and The Key and Conspiracy. Mm -hmm. and, for a while. And, and of course, we um, contacted Alan, who I was working with at the time then, doing tribute records. And, so that was the first formation of Circa. And then um, as time evolved, when the second record came around, um, Alan had to kind of go back to Yes full time to do this new Yes thing that they're doing. Right. And so we went forward and brought Jay Shellen in to play drums. And that was the second you know, version of Circa was with Jay. And then we kind of took a little trip into Yoso land for a while while we yeah. were dabbling with the new little band thing. And then out there on the road, Tony and I knew, you know, we're still doing Circa, so let's talk about what the next Circa is going to be. And we were out there with these two guys, who we'd kind of found and hired to come with us as hired guns on the Yoso thing. Right. And that turned into a relationship that was, you know, kind of obvious that we needed to stay in contact with. And so when the next Circa thing was being talked about on the road, Tony and I immediately thought, well, what about these two guys? And so that became the, the, the new platform to go from. So your retirement didn't last very long <laughs> before Billy called and messed it all up. No, <laughs> no, it, uh, just a few years. Yeah. All right, well, now tomorrow we've got uh, a pretty unique event going on uh, as far as this band and, and things that are happening here. Why don't you go ahead and just talk about what's going on tomorrow and the technology behind it and, and the whole reason for it. Well, um, it, it kind of started by accident, the concept. Uh, Tony and I were doing this two-man show that we did a benefit kind of tour in Japan not too long ago. And we played a gig at this uh, place. It was right after the tsunami mm -hmm. uh, disaster over there. And we went over there for two weeks to, uh, to play for the, uh, for the people. Yeah, just the two of us. And, and we had a little show that we do with, you know, uh, I've got backing tracks that I recorded and whatnot. Right. And we go out and play a bunch of music. Anyway, long story short. The, one of these clubs was streaming using Ustream and told us both when you go back to your hotel, just you know, put on Facebook that you're streaming the concert. So we did, and the turnout for that event was quite amazing online. And it, the light bulb sort of went off for both of us that we should look into that for Circa because part of the thing with Circa is it's, it's the people who've embraced it and, um, and found it, they love it as mm -hmm. much as we have the passion to carry on doing it. Right. But that said, it's a relative underground sort of, you know, kind of muso thing. So when we go play in these various regions, the the audience that we can pull is 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 okay, but it's not big enough to sustain major tours like major acts with help and promoters and right. agents and whatnot do. So we decided to go this route where we could actually tap into all those regions where we have these footholds and combine forces globally. And you know, I, I kind of felt bad when people kept saying, you know, well, when are you coming to Florida? When are you coming to uh, Gambia, this guy said. Yeah. I said, well, I doubt any time <laughs> soon, to be honest with you. Uh, in this way, 
we can get those places, right. you know. And with the economy and globally being the way it is, it also makes it a little easier for the for the people out there because they don't have to leave their living rooms. It's right, right there <laughs> in the comfort of their own home, you know. So it's new and it's an interesting technology. What we're taking advantage of is is having this amazing production facility mm -hmm. uh, provided by West Coast Sunlight and the crew and all these people working together as an amazing team, putting this all together on a level that's more than just let's go play a gig and put a camera up and stream right. it out to the world. We're going at this like making a major event and trying to keep it at an extremely high level. Mm -hmm. um, the audio is really pristine and record quality and the, the visuals are concert level with the lighting and you know, the way that things are. And there's no audience. Uh, quite frankly, because of the way that this show is designed to happen. It's designed to happen best over the internet. So no studio audience. No not. studio audience because, quite frankly, we don't have the PA up like you would at a rock show. Right. Because we're going about this more like a studio recording so that the audio for the listener at home is that of a record. It's mm -hmm. master quality. And, you know, you, you don't get kind of that same feeling when you, when you have an audience that changes the dynamic. Mm -hmm. So this is engineered and designed for that platform to really thrive. You know? Now with the technology and all the things that, that you're capable of doing, do you feel that this sort of thing might replace the live show someday? Uh, actually, I think it could be used in a live uh, situation, mm -hmm. uh, an audience situation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, we have to get the technology right, and uh, which we're doing, and this is really the first time that we tried it. But I think when that's refined, then it would be a lot of fun to do it with an audience. Right. Um, it's just the, uh, the, the technology really uh, is quite complicated. Mm -hmm. And to that end, you know, we wanted to make sure that if people are, you know, the people who support Circa, who buy the ticket, we wanted to make sure that it was this audio level and this visual level that's going to hit the mark and integrating or doing it at a live concert you kind of don't have control because things are out of your control mm -hmm. whereas this is like you would when you record a record it's you know we're doing a take <laughs> you know and you go for it except the integration of the interaction you're seeing this live event happen so it's it's a hybrid it's a new thing and there's surprises along the way that people will see which I don't want to give away but there's things that are be revealed as the show goes on that will be very different than probably most Ustream things you've seen. Mm -hmm. Now I know quite often there's the uh, whole, that relationship between the audience and the live band. Uh, is that you have, I'm assuming then do you have to sort of change the way you're thinking, your mode, what there's no, mm -hmm. You have mm. to think about them. We actually pretend that they're there. That's just that they're there. <laughs> it's it's kind of like being online when you're punching in online and somebody IMs you and you're right. chatting with them, uh, that's done through the camera. Right. Just yeah. that the camera becomes your keyboard and you're, just a new you're way communicating of, that way. Of right. communicating to the audience. We, we know they're there, so right. we get the yeah. energy. And we and know it, who you are, too. Right. <laughs> and it's not that it's going to replace the whole live experience of Circa playing live and getting out there and doing tours, but, you know, in the in the place where we are and the world is right now, this seemed like the most logical path to get the movement out there mm -hmm. into every corner of the world or, you know, everywhere there's an internet connection. Right. You know, it answers the question. That's what I've been posting on my Facebook page. For anyone who asks the question, when are we coming to your town, we'll virtually be there on December 31st. Right. So, you know, right. we'll be in everyone's town. So, okay. it's kind of cool. So, then what is in the future? Then? Now, we've got the show tomorrow. It's going to be live as it happens, over Ustream. Yeah. As I understand it, there are other productions that Circa yeah. has planned for the future as well, the near future. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that we're talking about doing, and um, but one cool thing about what we're doing here tomorrow is that after the show is performed, and it, it goes into the archives, mm -hmm. and it remains for anyone. So if you did miss it in real time, you can always go catch it in the archives, okay. which is very cool. And in that way, <clears throat> we're looking forward towards building this as a channel that Circa has, where not only can you watch what we do tomorrow for, as you know, forever basically, it, but as we start building shows, there'll be a library of things that you can do. You know, so we're talking about other ways to have Circa not only play 
all of its original music, but also dabbling in other things in a manner like how I've kind of become in that tribute world where I produce all these remakes. Of right. Things. We're talking about spinning some things sideways and coming okay. back at it as Circa with doing that, you know. So there's that as well. And, and Tony and I have the Two Men Show, which we do, which mm -hmm. we're actually talking about doing a version here and, and shooting and doing soon. And then I'm toying around with the idea of kind of a solo project to figure out a way to pull that off, which is what I haven't done yet. And then there's other things that, that will uh, sure, sure come up by proxy, you know. There's, there's, it's pretty open-ended. It's really right. up to the creative imagination of what you want to come also, up with. Also, the possibility of, of presenting other bands. That too. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, who we like and who we can help by presenting yeah. them in this environment. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's an instant global presentation. It is, and, and as long as, for me, as long as the quality is there on the audio level and the video level, I'm happy to participate. Because right. especially this type yeah. of music, there's an expectation from the fans. Yeah, you it's they'll you know hang you upside down by your socks <laughs> if it's not rocking. But we don't have the luxury of going into uh, post production. Right, <laughs> that's right. That's uh, which is the normal. But I I, I, I kind of know you know what their expectation is is also ours. You know mm -hmm. of what like if we were to watch something like that, we would be wanting to see it at that certain level, and so you know that's what you're always shooting for is that higher plane and that higher level. And okay. I think that that people will be very surprised tomorrow when they tune in. Now, the fans are wanting to know, just as far as the band goes, for Circa, about new album, new music, what's going on for yeah. Circa? Uh, you know, always thinking about new music, and, you know, we just came out with the And So On record, mm -hmm. which is fairly new, and we're playing a lot of that music in this set tomorrow night. And obviously talking about doing more live productions, which takes time and concentration, away from maybe working on a new record. But at some point, we're going to be moving into working on new music as it always happens right. by, you know, jamming together and that idea is cool, mark it down. And then you start putting things together and, you know, these guys have a lot of great ideas to bring to the table and, and so the next album will just keep an evolution of the band and, and moving forward, you know. Okay. I may play a tuba on it just to break uh -huh. it up and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking maybe Electric too of, <laughs> of presenting um, our past albums in their entirety ah. too, which uh, yeah. which would be kind of cool yeah. to uh, do. Because cool. you you know you pick songs from <clears throat> now we have three albums that uh, and yeah. um, uh, other songs that we've never played, but. Right. Uh, that were actually outtakes from the albums that yeah, we did. On yeah. Overflow. On, yeah. on an album called Overflow, okay. which is on iTunes. Right. Yeah. Um, tracks we've never played live before. So it will give us an opportunity to keep, you know, presenting uh, new music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, old music. Form for it too. With interesting production, yeah. you know. That's, right. that's the cool thing about having you know, being able to do it in a place like this, which people will see tomorrow, the full content of. I didn't want to give anything away tonight. Right. But uh, it's quite amazing because you have a great palette to create this amazing show, where normally you might not. You know, you have a few lights and a mm -hmm. few bells and whistles, but with this, we have so much that, you know, we, we, we could never end messing around with this in right. different formats. Right. And, you know, unfortunately for the people here at West Coast Sound and Lights, they have me to deal with <laughs> as I come in going, well, wait, what about it over here and that? But at the end of the day, you know, if it's rocking and it looks good, that's, that's the point. That it, For me, it's about the art first. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about, making some cool art. And it's a new way to make art, you know? Used to make records, now we're making live Ustream right. concerts. Right. <laughs> right. So it's just another extension of the art form, you know? Yeah. It's very cool. But it's, it's interesting to be able to play in a team with other components that bring in all the bear. And that's, mm -hmm. that's a different thing, and it's, it's working very well. Excellent. We're also getting into, um, especially Billy, uh, and I'm obviously interested in, in the video aspect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of uh, presenting things on, uh, on the internet, which we're starting to incorporate in this kind of show right yeah Probably that will be something to uh, experiment with in yeah. the future so this is really the start of something that could 
I mean, it's this is a, an amazing adventure that, that you guys are kind of starting. Yeah. I mean, people I, have been streaming things before, but this is something kind of different. It is in many ways, uh, just from where the mindset of how to do it is, mm -hmm. you know, and I guess that's what it really comes down to because it's all about the content and how it's presented. And, you know, you can hand three different musicians the same kind of gear and you're going to come up with three different things. So this formula, like I said earlier, of the team and how it can come up with things makes it unique, different and of a really high quality. And I think that's what's going to have people trusting you to come back again. Right. You know, as opposed to, wow, it was glitchy, the audio was funky, mm -hmm. and the picture looked pixelated. If all those, you're not thinking about any of that, it's just an amazing experience. And now people, you know, and I don't know about this because I'm not in that techie part of it, but they're locking it up with their iPads to their TVs, and it's like, you know, now they're oh, on yeah. 60. I've got people telling me, you know, I can't wait till it starts, the speakers are ready, and, yeah. you know, so it, they're not just viewing it on their computer, it's, it's extending into their living rooms, and... Mm -hmm. There's people having parties, getting together, and you know, buying the ticket, and ten people are partying in the living room with us. So, it's it's a cool experience. I don't, you know, as as, as there's people who kind of say, oh, I miss the contact and everything, but at the same time, this is a new thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, if you were to talk to people about, well, you're on Facebook every day for most of your afternoon. Do you miss the human contact, or do you go out to seek it out? Right. They don't. They sit there. <laughs> so it's just a new thing, you know. It's interesting. Okay, so what time does the show start tomorrow? Six o'clock our time, California. Okay. Right? So nine o'clock Eastern and depending on where you are in Europe, one or two. Two o'clock. Right? Two, two or three o'clock in okay. Europe and in and Australia it, it will be <laughs> It'll be next, at next Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> uh, and, and obviously we have this Ustream chat channel thing mm -hmm. going, so as you're watching it, you can chat with people who are online and watching and other people and whatnot, and you know, ask questions and whatnot, and Roman will be hosting to I'll take those here. questions, and we'll be kind of interacting along the way in ways that I don't want to give away, but it'll be very cool. And uh, six o'clock, and then once the show's finished, it goes into the archives. Right. So. Anyone who watches the show and says, oh my goodness, that was amazing, i got to support these guys, can then take that flag and go run with it. And people who said, oh, sorry, I missed it, but, well, they can go watch it. Also, we'll see it. Yeah. So. Excellent. So big New Year's Eve show tomorrow, right here, right where you are now. Just come back. Mm -hmm. We'll be here. We'll start things off. And it's mm -hmm. going to be great, guys. Thanks a lot. The show is two and a half hours of music. So get comfortable. Plus Roman's integration. We've got a long way to go. So. Right. Kick back and you know right. it'll be fun. All right, All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you.